Hey guys, it's Disney Drachi, and today is a Disney pin haul. I recently came back from Disney World, so I traded some pins and also bought some pins. So let's get started. First off, um, I went from the 24th to the 27th of May, and uh, it was for Star Wars weekend mostly, but I did of course buy some pins and vinyl missions, so stay tuned for that um, video. But first, I um, just want to show you, we have Olaf. And this one I was really happy to get because I thought that it wouldn't be able to, that I wouldn't be able to get it. Um, because of course Frozen is such a big hit, as you can tell in the background. Um, Frozen is such a big hit, and I'm really happy that I was able to get this Olaf. And it was a green, so it wasn't that expensive actually. I think it's a, uh, I think that green is the most cheapest out of all of the um the pin prices. And then next. I wasn't able to go to the um, Wackershide Disney event, but they did have heroes and villains th as the theme, and they had the pin available when I was there, so I wanted to get that, especially that Maleficent or Maleficent is my favorite villain, and there her, is her pop final down there, and Maleficent just came out thir the 30th of May, so let's go to heroes and villains, and Sorcerer Mickey, of course. Limited for release, and it was $9.95. So, not bad. And then finally, Maleficent is definitely my favorite villain. I was able to get her pin as well. So, this one um, sold out at Disney's Pin Traders in Downtown Disney. And then when I went to Epcot, they had this pin, so I was really happy to find this one. And it's limited edition of about 3000 I believe. And like I said, the movie just came out, so that's cool. And it was $15, which is a little expensive for a pin, but I think it's really worth it because I love this pin. And then now are all of my traders that I traded with cast members. So I didn't really do that much trading as I wish I had, but I guess that's okay. Um, I guess I could save it for next trip, hopefully. Here we have this 2000 Walt Disney World pin. I thought this was cool because I don't really get to find any of these old ones anymore, so I think that's cool. Here we have a Goofy as a snowflake. And then I originally found Minnie as a snowflake. So then that's why I got Goofy eventually. And then next we have a Woody. This is part of a new pin set from last year. They have the heroes and then the villains parking area. And we have Duffy as Captain Hook. And I do want to warn you, um, be wary when you trade with cast members because it's not their fault if they have a, a fake pin, but just be wary that you have to check if it's a fake pin. And you could tell if it's like has like the lines or um that you could feel each line of the pin and it's, and it's all rounded but unlike other pins that are most likely counterfeit um they're all smooth on it you can't feel the lines and there might be some jagged um sides so definitely be wary and Duffy is one of the ones that are copied most of the time and it did check um to make sure these are all real. Here we have Russell, saluting so one I guess. This one's really cool because Up is one of my favorite movies. And then finally the last pin I traded was this mini Disney pin traders from 2013. I didn't make one. So that completes my collection. You could if you could go back to my um, I believe Disney pin haul or something like that in August where I had every single pin from the Disney Pin Trader set, except this one. So I'm definitely going to add this one to my collection, and I finally com completed it. So that's really good, really happy about that. And then finally, this is gigantic lanyard. It is the Disney Parks Pin Trading starter set. And they usually have something like this every year, where they, um, as well as other things besides pins where if you spend a certain amount you can purchase something of um for that's only available through that offer 
So like for example if you spend $50 you might be able to buy a towel that's $10 like they also had at um, Disney World. But um, for the pin set you have, to, you have to spend $40 in order to get to be able to purchase this pin set which was $20. And honestly, I really love this set. It's really cute. I'll zoom in in a second. But if one of you or um, if one of my subscribers has younger children, or I mean siblings, they may um, the siblings may want to get a kids box or something like that at the parks. And um, so it's so it's for their size or whatever. And this is the box that it comes in. And um, yeah, I'm one of those people who keep everything, <laughs> but that's Stitch and Chip and Dale, and uh, this is where their meal comes in, and it's exactly what the pin set is, so when I originally got this, I thought, I, this is so cute, I want to get it somehow as an actual thing I could hold besides the box. So I'm really happy that Disney um, implemented that into pins, because I think that who wouldn't want to buy this pin set for $20. So that's really cool. And it is um, $250 for each pin, so you could get it just for trading and it's still pretty worth it. $250 for each pin, not bad. So first we have a Haunted Mansion Mini. I believe that's Dale on Astro Orbiter. Stitch on Jungle Cruise. Pluto on the Mad Tea Party, Mickey in Autopia, or um, Tomorrow in Speedway. There we have Daisy on Space Mountain, Chip on Astro Orbiter, and Goofy and Donald on one of the railroads, because you can't really tell. And it's not exactly for um, Magic Kingdom or Disneyland, it's just Disney Parks. But, um, yeah. So it's really cool really cute as well so if you ever have the opportunity to spend forty dollars and buy another pin set for 20 i definitely get it it's definitely a good um offer either to trade or for your collection because this set is adorable so that's all of this pin haul and be sure to subscribe rate favorite like and comment on this video and stay tuned for my disney pin box unboxing <laughs> and uh, that i got from the outlets those pin boxes so have a magical day. Bye.